guys and welcome back. Um, sorry that I look a little bit rough today. I have no makeup on. Uh, I just washed my face with my usual Biore um, acne charcoal scrub and I wanted to kind of test out two different brands of makeup that have been going around the internet. Um, they're two pretty expensive brands or foundations and one of them is this unique Mineral Touch Foundation, and it's a liquid foundation. And then the other one is a Limelight Cream Foundation. Now these both claim to be full coverage, so we're just gonna test it out side by side. Um, this one, I'll just go ahead and get right into it. Um, before I do that, I'm gonna moisturize really quickly with my IT. Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream, which I really, really love um, for moisturizing before I put my makeup on and then also before I go to bed at night. So I'm just going to put that all over my face. And I'm not going to use a primer today, just to kind of give the full effect of the foundation. So, go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, now that that's been sitting on my face for a bit, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Uh, foundation blurring brush that I picked up at Walmart for about six dollars so very cheap and very nicely uh, it's a very nice brush <laughs> for how cheap it is but elf has <clears throat> a lot of good products so first I'm gonna shake this unique foundation <clears throat> And then I'm going to twist the top, and it has a little dropper, so I'm just going to drop some out on my hand. I think you're supposed to drop it on the actual brush, but I'm just going to drop it on my hand for now, and then just take it and dot it on my face. Just half of my face right now. It smells <clears throat> really nice, like sunscreen, if you like that kind of smell. I don't know if this is too many dots or not. but So we're just going to take this brush and then just dot it. And then we're going to swirl. And this camera makes things look a little bit brighter than they are in real life, so that's why it looks kind of odd. So there is one coat, and I didn't exfoliate, like, <clears throat> scrub my face with a sponge or anything, so I do have some dry patches. Right there, there, right there. So it doesn't look the greatest. I probably should have used a primer. Um, but again, I just wanted to give the full effect of this foundation. And this is the shade of the lure. Oops. In case you're wondering. And now I'm going to take my shade All of One in Limelight by Alcone. And it's this. These are the two concealers, but I'm using that foundation, and it's a cream consistency. So I'm just going to swirl it around and dot it on my face. As you can see, I have a lot to cover today. My face isn't always 
<clears throat> excuse me, my face isn't always this bad, but it is around that time of the month. So, I guess that's good. Um, so I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm just gonna dot it. And I made sure there was no product from the Unique foundation on this brush as well, so. Okay, so this side is the Limelight and this side is the Unique in just one um, layer. And the Limelight one really does look a lot natural in person. Uh, it didn't cover completely, neither side did, but I have concealer that would work. But I really do love the limelight side a lot better than the unique one just because it looks a lot less cakey. And it feels so much lighter. Like I know it's a cream, but it just feels so much lighter. And it's made with all natural ingredients. So it's not going to clog your pores or anything. So just for the heck of it, I'm going to take another, I'm going to do another layer of the limelight. And then another layer of the unique. Now I'm just going to focus mainly on my spots that need to be covered. Again, I'm going to go in with the brush and just do some swirling motions. Blend it down onto your neck. And I'm gonna go take the limelight again, or I'm sorry, the unique foundation. I'm gonna shake this one up a little bit. And then I'm gonna take, oops. <clears throat> this one is really, really drippy, so it's not like the thick cream, <laughs> obviously. But it does show up a lot more opaque on the skin, that's for sure. So. Alright, so here is the Limelight and here is the Unique. And the Limelight definitely looks a lot more dewy. Um, but I'll put a pressed powder when I usually do my makeup because I'm a bit more oily. So this side is pretty cakey. And this side gives a nice, dewy, non-cakey look. But again, I recommend using primer, but I didn't this time, so. So I would say the winner would be Limelight, just because it's a lot more natural looking. Um, it's not cakey like the Unique. 
even though you'd think the unique one would be a lot less cakey just because it's a thinner liquid but this cream is really nice and high quality and professionals use it in their makeup kits celebrities use it so it's really really a nice and natural product and it's great for if you have acne because not only does it cover most of it um, but it helps cure your acne too so it's really great doesn't clog your pores and then for the unique I don't know I'm just not a huge fan of it um, I wanted to be <laughs> I was really excited to get it but after trying the limelight one I have a clear winner and a clear go-to every day so I'm really 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 happy with this um, so there's the finished look of just two coats and they weren't extremely heavy well I guess they were a little bit heavy but um, they didn't completely cover but I have concealer for that which really does a very nice job so there you go. Thanks, guys.